I am absolutely not okay. At all. I am angry. I am upset. I am disgusted with the behavior of everyone who isn't me. Lately, people haven't been treating me the way that they would want to be treated, which goes completely against the golden rule. This is really hard for me to talk about because I never thought I would ever be talking about this, but I've been holding this back and keeping this a secret for such a long time and it's starting to drive me insane. In case you're blind and couldn't read the title or you accidentally clicked on this video, because you're blind, then hi, my name is Jared Baird, and um, I'm being taken advantage of, and it's really ticking me off. Just so you can understand where I'm coming from, this has been going on for about as long as I can remember, but if I had to give it an exact date, I would say this all started about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Basically, I invited some friends over for a play date, and I thought things were going pretty well. I planned that we'd all just hang out and do some origami, because duh. And I thought the message was pretty clear that the theme of the party was BYOP, bring your own paper. Unfortunately, Susan didn't bring her own paper, so she had to use some of mine. I mean, I tried not to make it a big deal, so I just smiled and pretended like I didn't want to rip her face off. <sighs> anyway, I tried to put it past me and I worked on my origami until it was time to share our work with the group. What I started to see were truly beautiful creations. Starting with myself, I made a dinosaur and I think it turned out really well, so I'm super proud of it. Then I came across other projects like a heart and a swan and I was really pleased with what I was seeing so far. And then as I was turning my head, I came across a big fat ugly blob. So I asked Susan, what is that? And she told me it was a rock. At first I thought she was joking because because if you're gonna make origami, you have to be a little bit more creative than that. Like, come on, let's not be stupid. So then I asked her, are you kidding me? And she replied with no. And honestly, I was beyond dumbfounded. My jaw literally dropped. You have the audacity to come to my BYOP themed origami party and not bring your own paper. But when I supply you with my own paper, you make garbage? I have no words. That's just wasteful, let alone rude. I didn't know how else to respond to the situation, so I just got up and left. I just couldn't be in that room anymore. Like, I don't ever want to talk to Susan again after that. My kindness, my generosity, my everything was just taken advantage of. I was taken advantage of. It just hurts to know that someone you cared about so much could stab you in the back like that. Like, who even does that? I guess you really can't trust anyone these days. And this entire situation actually got me thinking of all the other times I've been taken advantage of before. So I thought I'd share some of those times with you, like right now. Last week, my mom came into my room and started yelling at me to get out of bed and start getting ready for school. Like, I am your son. You birthed me. All I want to do is stay at home and hang out with the coolest mom ever, but clearly I'm not wanted. So in that moment, my awesomeness was taken advantage of. I remember another time where I mowed the entire lawn. Yeah, the entire lawn, and I thought I did a really good job, only to come outside a week later and find out that the grass grew back. Like, I just did all that physical labor for no reason. I literally gave the grass a haircut and it couldn't even be appreciative. So in that moment, my generosity was taken advantage of. I can also recall the specific time in which I was really hungry. So I went downstairs and got some food from the fridge and then I ate it. My own stomach took advantage of me by forcing myself to eat because it knew if I didn't eat, I would die. Like theoretically, I didn't have to eat. I could have spent my time being way more productive, like counting the shingles on my roof or something. But instead, I had to give in to my body's command. Moral of the story is, people are rude and disrespectful and nothing is ever gonna change unless we stop taking advantage of other people. What the? What the heck is this? Origami is hard for me because I don't have thumbs. Oh, Susan, this is really sweet. But you still wasted my paper, so nice try. As I say in almost all my videos, I don't really know what this was. Recently, I've been doing a little bit of origami and I wanted to somehow include that in a video. And then it accidentally turned into this and I'm not sorry about it. As always, if you happen to like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All of my social media is linked in the description and tell me in the comments something. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye.